Hi, I'm Neil Robinson. I'm the Managing Director of WearCheck. I'd just like to introduce WearCheck to you and tell you a little bit about our company. WearCheck um, evolved from a small soil analysis laboratory here in Pine Town in Durban in 1974 and evolved into an oil analysis laboratory around that time, set up by its founders, Gary Brown and Leslie Crawford. In 1999, um, we were purchased by the, the JSC listed company, Setpoint Group, where we joined one of their divisions, um, the analytical division, and we're now one of six divisions in, in Setpoint, which adds a level of security to us, allows us access to capital, and allows us to continue at the forefront of, of where we are. Um, today we employ over 100 people. We have four labs in, in three different countries, continually growing and looking for, for expansion to provide our customers, who are also global, the continuity of service that, that they need. At the moment we process in excess of half a million samples a year and we continue to grow by several thousand every year and looking forward to continued growth going forward. Part of our strength is our dedicated team. In 1997, WearCheck was awarded the ISO 9001 quality system audited by the SABS and then recently in, in 2003 we were awarded the ISO 14000 quality management system. We believe that we are one of the few companies in the world that can offer the kind of expertise coupled with our analytical capabilities and our quality and therefore um, WearCheck is proud to produce this video for you to see what we do and how we do it. Thank you. Oil analysis forms a very, very strong analogy with taking a blood sample. For example, you could go to the doctor and he recommends a sample of blood be taken and the information from that may indicate something like high cholesterol and because you've got high cholesterol you may be advised to get more exercise, changes in lifestyle, changes in diet. Similarly, you can take an oil sample out of a piece of machinery and from looking at the oil, not only can you determine the health of the oil, but you can also determine the health of the machine, levels of contamination, and as you make changes in your lifestyle, you can also make changes in the way that the machine is either monitored or maintained, or it may recommend some precipitative action. Oil analysis is traditionally seen as a maintenance technique that is often used with earth moving equipment. However, if it's got oil in it and it moves, you can apply oil analysis to it. So it's not just the construction and the mining industries, it can be aircraft, it can be marine, it can be industrial, literally anything that is lubricated with oil, you can use the maintenance technique of oil analysis giving you an idea of the health of your machine, the health of the oil and your levels of contamination. It cannot be stressed too strongly how important it is that the sample of oil that you take is representative of the oil that is actually in the system. There are a number of ways of taking oil samples. The best way of taking an oil sample is by using a sampling valve. This is a valve that is installed in the piece of equipment, which means that the sample is always taken from the same place at the same time. It's clean, it's easy. Next in line for uh, oil sampling is to use a thief gun sample. This is a small little extraction pump which allows you to put a tube down the dipstick or the filler cap and take a sample by means of an extraction pump. Finally, if neither a valve nor a pump can be used, then putting a sample bottle into a drain stream can also be used, but this is the method most guaranteed to get external contamination into the oil. Every wear check sample bottle has a piece of paper with it. This paper is known as a submission form. And it's on this submission form that you write all your sample details. This is vitally important to the success of a program. Lack of correct or complete information is usually the biggest reason for an oil analysis program failing. Oil samples are received by the designated wear check laboratory. The company's main laboratory is situated in Westmead, in the greater Durban area of South Africa, while a growing list of satellite laboratories serve a greater geography. 
The main laboratory is a cutting-edge facility with the latest instrumentation, a powerful software platform and is capable of performing over 10,000 tests a day which translates to in excess of 2,000 samples. The laboratory routinely performs viscosity determinations at 40 and 100 degrees Celsius. Moisture content, elemental analysis of four wear metals, contaminants and oil additives, Titrations are performed to determine total acid and base numbers. Fourier transform infrared analysis gives a detailed look into the chemistry of the oil and is invaluable in diagnosing many common engine problems. Gas chromatography is used for the determine of fuel dilution in engine samples. Microscopic examination of debris analysis in conjunction with ferrous debris analysis and particle counting rounds off an extremely comprehensive suite of tests. While samples are being analyzed in the laboratory, Data that was sent in with the submission form is entered into WareCheck Central Database in the Data Processing Department. This data can also be downloaded by customers using their own computers via WareCheck software or web portal. WareCheck's diagnosticians are a team of highly qualified and experienced personnel who have over 100 years of experience between them and have diagnosed millions of samples. They are tasked with the responsibility of marrying together the sample submission data and the laboratory results. Each sample is carefully scrutinized, taking into account current values in the context of historical trends. A problem severity is assigned along with recommendations for action where appropriate. WareCheck's customer care department will make telephonic contact with all customers with critical samples for immediate follow-up. They are always on hand to assist with any customer queries as are the diagnosticians who are able to guide customers to ensuring maximum life from their components. WareCheck's sophisticated computer systems generate thousands of reports daily and these are sent to customers via email, facsimile, printed posted reports and various online systems depending on the customer's preference. While the majority of samples are classed as normal, around 30% require some form of intervention. Typical problems include abnormal wear, poor combustion, dirt entry, ingress of moisture, internal coolant leaks and fuel dilution. Abnormal wear is uncovered using inductively coupled plasma spectroscopy to determine the elemental concentration in the oil. This allows for the measurement of parts per million levels of all common wear metals whose particles are smaller than 5 micron. Ferrous debris monitors aid in analysis as they are able to analyze all sizes of iron, the most common wearing material. Microscopic debris analysis concludes the tests are vital in determining abnormal wear. Large particles in the oil are determined using ferrous debris monitors in conjunction with microscopic debris analysis. Clean oil systems, such as those found in hydraulic systems or automatic transmissions, also have an optical particle counting test performed on the sample. And this gives a precise breakdown of the number and size of particles in the oil. Dirt entry is another common problem in many components, which is often caused by poorly performing air intake systems or even missing air filters. These problems are easily identified by microscopic debris analysis in conjunction with inductively coupled plasma results. Moisture is directly detected in the oil and is reported down to 0.1%, allowing customers to change or dry their oil and put measures in place to mitigate further contamination. Internal coolant leaks frequently ruin an otherwise good engine. These are detected through inductively coupled plasma results as well as Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, more commonly known as FTIR, where ethylene glycol concentrations can be directly measured. Lastly, the moisture determination test picks up the presence of any residual water. Faulty injector systems are a common cause of fuel dilution of the oil. Such problems can result in torch pistons and high wear due to the low viscosity of the oil. 
fuel is detected using a technologically advanced headspace gas chromatography system where fuel percentages can be accurately determined.